Stacy here. Well, there's always time for a hug. Let's talk about the carnivore diet. Widowed. Let's talk about men. No. Chickens. Yes. Kitties. Yes. Yawning. Yes. If it weren't for bad luck, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I just want to lose enough weight to defy gravity. Tells it like it is. Breath of fresh air. <laughs> I've been told I'm full of hot air. And Patreon. Psh, more like Patri Pain. So if you like my videos, please, all I ask, one dollar on my Donate to PayPal homepage down in the corner. One dollar! Help Grandma make some more YouTube videos. <laughs> Welcome to the insanity. Hi guys, Grandma DC here. And yeah, I'm in the car. And I'm driving to the nearest pseudo city. There's about 35,000 people. It's the biggest one we've got. There is something wrong with my car. My son gave it back to me. I think it's a stick stuck under it. It was just, when I go slower, it's just dragging. I have gotten down as low as I go. Even losing weight, I can only go so low. <laughs> and that's with ibuprofen. And I can barely see something under there. I don't know whether it is a wire or whether it's a stick. But when I slow down, it is the noise is horrendous. And this car could use a cleaning. We have a new car wash in town. And Pam was telling me that for pretty cheap, they will clean inside and out. And I'm like, yeah, I think it needs to be done. No, I'm going fast enough. I think if it was a wire, people have been waving at me going, Grandma, you're throwing sparks out the back. And if it was a stick, one would think friction would catch it on fire and it would burn up. I don't hear it. Maybe it did. Maybe it caught on fire and it burned up before I got here. I was doing 65 mile an hour. Pretty fast. Oh my gosh. There's a new car wash in town. Pam said they do inside and out. It's amazing. And I thought maybe they get some of the smoke smell out from my son. So I went, no they don't. Pam, you're crazy. They don't do the inside. They give you a rag, you can do it yourself. But I went through their car wash, the little cheapy one, and it blew the trim off the top of my car. But the car looks fabulous. They found the trim inside and brought it back to me. <laughs> now I'm going to Menards <laughs> to buy some glue so I can uh, make sure the trim doesn't pop back out. I'm banking a thousand zeros today. They don't have lamp repair kits and they don't know anybody around here that repairs lamps. So now I gotta try to find glue in a 5,000 square foot facility. I might just give up. But the car looks fabulous on the outside. I have to admit that. Wow, that is something. There's the trim that blew out. I'll, uh, get something to glue it back down. Well, whatever that car wash did when it blew my uh, things off the top, it also blew the stick or whatever it was off the bottom. So, <laughs> six dollar repair. Sweet. Okay, so I found some Gorilla Glue sealant that wasn't real expensive. I went through and looked at the Halloween stuff, but I realized my glasses aren't on my head, so I can't see anything prices or anything like that just as well I guess it saved me some money because boy howdy I love Halloween stuff <laughs> Ooh, well, I guess the guy on YouTube about being uh, unafraid to fail was right <laughs> success I found the stuff to fix the clock and it was on sale and even the tea lights I needed were on sale so I came out with some cheap stuff. Absolutely thrilled. They didn't have wind chime repair stuff though. Ever since I've been cleaning and rearranging the house, I keep finding all this stuff that needs to be fixed. Maybe we'll hit the Dollar Tree. We just cut the little chimes. Did you see my nails? Look at this. I was cleaning the house and I found those press-on nails. They must have been about eight years old. <laughs> Maybe more. The glue still held, and I did them myself. I wanted to look like a girl for a little while. On the other hand, I'm completely handicapped. I've just about wounded myself beyond belief several times, especially in the bathroom. We won't talk about that. Back home. And <clears throat> while I was uh, 
at the uh, Hobby Lobby. My grandmother clock hasn't worked in ages, so I bought me a, a new work for it. And while I talk, I'm going to sit here and figure out how to wire it up. <laughs> Wish me luck! So I stopped by to, to the laundromat and met the nicest young man. His name was Frederick. And he told me that the best washer to use and the best settings to put it on and then which dryer worked the best. He was a doll. Look at the size of this cup I found for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Mm -mm -mm. Finally enough coffee I won't be running back to refill it constantly. So I've got this piece here that the batteries go into and I just have to figure out how to hook up these wires. Which are not different colors so I guess it does not matter which I put down or connect to which first. It doesn't say. We'll find out. So Frederick and I had a nice, you know, fun talk. I was explaining to him a little bit about my YouTube channel, which is uh, always difficult and fun. <laughs> and we talked about things like, well, that, you know, one time I went to a women's group and we were all there and they said, did you know there's a flasher at the mile long walk down by the dam? Oh yes, Judy so-and-so was down there the other day and this man just opened up the front and just flashed everything. I said, gee whiz girls, I go down there all the time. I haven't been able to find him yet. <laughs> so to tell you what happened yesterday, because I told you at the beginning that I would tell you what happened to me yesterday. I have to preface this by telling you that um, I told mother this story and mother said this is entirely my fault that I did not something wrong. I was not friendly enough, demure enough, cute enough, sweet enough, communicative enough. I did something wrong. Just wanting you all to know that up front. So I had something dragging under my car and I pull into this gas station down on the dam road which is on the back side of the dam road, the old 65 highway. And this guy is out there, skinny little white guy, <laughs> and he is bent over, about my age, and he's bent over looking under this guy's hood. Well, I understand he was busy. So I walk up, and the guy that owned the hood he was standing under, apparently, looked like the walrus from the scallop and the walrus story, and I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, so walrus man looks over at me, and he does once over and looks away. Okay, so I stood there and waited, because I don't want to interrupt, of course. And all I wanted was for somebody who can get down on the ground to look under my car to see what was that thing dragging. It sure sounded like wood to me, or metal. And I couldn't see anything, so as far down as I got. So, I waited, and I stood there and waited, and I waited. And there was another guy in the back that was talking with somebody. He could see me clearly. And I waited, and pretty soon the mechanic pulled his head out, turned around, looked at me and went, and turned right back around, and I was like, hi! And he stuck his head back under the hood and went back to doing whatever, and he and the walrus were having a discussion. So, I'm wired together. I stood there. Oh, somebody wants me. Can you imagine that? The call was from Mother. She's going to the casino. I am not going. I've spent enough money today. Uh, anyway, where was I? So I stood around and waiting for someone to acknowledge me and say, may I help you? And all I wanted was just please look under my car and see what that is dragging. And I stood around so long I started feeling like you know, an Ethiopian child begging on the street corner. And by the time that hit me, I said, you know what? I don't need this. I got in my car and drove off. They didn't even acknowledge I drove off. And, mm, well, Mr. Walrus, go find yourself a scallop to suck on. So anyway, that was uh, my experience. I've now got the clock sort of put together. I am not sure. I think that's backwards. Nothing's moving. That tells me that's what... I, I, have I mentioned that I have tried unsuccessfully to, to fix several clocks? <laughs> Putting new works in them and everything. I have never, ever, ever succeeded in doing it. <laughs> so, uh, here goes. Nothing.
I think it'd be really cool if it made... Well, we'll see if she keeps time now. Very proud of myself. Though. That just doesn't mean it's going to keep time properly, though. <laughs> Why don't I just put it down on six and see if that works. Maybe it will keep time from there. All right, my friends. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. Comment below if, as a uh, single middle-aged woman, you have gone into a repair place and been just totally ignored as if you did not exist. Or actually, I was looked up and down and given the walrus look <laughs> but I did meet a nice young man who was married with children at the laundromat oh, so it's an even day 2020